In Highlands County tonight, a new program is helping inmates become service members. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino sat down with an inmate hoping to turn his life around. Good evening. This is about breaking out of this prison cycle, giving these inmates a second chance if they'll take it. Jacqueline Butler has spent nearly two years locked up in a jail cell for battery behind steel bars. So no click on the green one right there. The 20 year old has found more opportunity than on the outside. There's really nothing to do here in this county. So basically, you're going to get in trouble, you know. Bob Quiz, what are my planets? Deputy Scott Walden is a former Marine with a new mission selecting the inmates he sees fit for the military. The military, it takes a certain heart and drive to be able to make it. And this is not a get out of jail free card. It has nothing to do with getting out of jail. Um, they have to pay their debt to society. They have to do their time. They have to do their community service hours. They have to do uh, pay their fines, court costs. Once chosen, Lieutenant Chris Rittenauer makes sure the inmates qualify. Criminal history, uh, what they're actually here for, uh, anything in their background. And we, we view that, and then if we think that they may qualify and they are interested and they want to work for it, then we will contact the military. But enlisting in the military takes more than just a signature. That's why in between chores and physical training, Butler spends a lot of time at the computer. He's learning English, math, and science, everything he needs to pass the required entrance exam and to hopefully take the next step towards a new future. I'm trying to plant a seed in these guys that they have the ability to give them hope, Give him strength. And they're pushing me. I need that. In two months, Butler will finish his sentence. He hopes to enlist in the Army and dreams of being stationed in Brazil. In Highlands County, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8. Once inmates are finished with their sentence, they will have the option to stay in transitional housing for 10 days until they enlist. You can read more about the program right now on the homepage of WFLA.com or you can share it from our free News Channel 8 app.